Hey everyone, welcome to Optimus 4.5. Today, I'm going to be starting a new video review series. So, this is no Transformers. This is my review of Transformers. This is my review of Power Rangers Super Samurai Deluxe Class Megazord. Just bought him today. I'm so happy. I am planning on getting the other ones. So stay tuned for some Power Rangers reviews. So um it says Power Rangers Super Samurai. Uh technically it's supposed to, I think it was supposed to say Power Rangers Samurai. But now they came out with the Super Samurai, so let's see. We have five swords to combine. Ooh. Um Ben I ages four and up. And then tripod, tripod. You have the Tiger Sword, um, Turtle Sword, Ape Sword, um, Dragon Sword around there, and the Bear Sword. All form the same. My Mega Sword. It's a good picture. Advertising warnings. And then you have the Sword Builder with the Beetle, Swordfish to Samurai Gigazord. And it shows you the picture right there. And collect and combine them all, which I am planning. Nice pictures of Samurais in the Mega Boats, in the soft Mega Mode. And here's all these guys. I am planning on getting all these. These four and these two. If I get him last and try to get all those. So, yep, yeah, there he is. It says collect and combine. Ooh. So there you go. And I'm actually going to do these in build in the do them separately. So first, here's the Megazord. Pretty nice Megazord. So let's get away to the first one. I'm gonna pull them off and just show you guys. Shouldn't done this before, but I didn't have time. Oh come on! So here's the Turtle Sword. This is the Pink Rangers Megazord. Nice, uh, white kanji or heaven for um, Shinken Ranger fans out there. Eyes are pink, nose is painted, it's mostly black. Uh, there's a gray color. And that's pretty much it. So, that's Pink Ranger. Next, oh, make sure you don't do that. Next is the Yellow Ranger Sword, the Ape Sword, or the Monkey from Sam from Chicken Ranger. So I was in this basic uh, yellow color. Um, this is the only one that can't. Form the kanji or the origami form, which is sad. Maybe maybe we'll see something like that. Um, so it's pretty cool. Next, get the legs out of the way. Next is Mike's sword. Is the green bear. Just really cool. I mean, it's mostly all green. Uh, it can't form this kanji symbol, so I'm very, I'm very sad. But the mouth does open. Very nice. Each of them does have the um, clan symbol. There's one for yellow. And 
pink is right on the fin, so that's pretty nice. There he is. Nothing too fanatic about him. Try to get them in frame. Next, we'll go with Kevin. And this one's a weird one. So here's Kevin. He saw the helmet for the Samurai Megazord. His mouth is open. He has nice gold, red eyes, silver, black. You come to here and the sword is just sticking out of his butt. And he is water. Mike is earth. I can't remember which one's Emily and which one's Maya. Not Maya. I forgot. I know hers is heaven. I think hers is. I forgot. But. There you go. It's not like the Japanese version. To get the helmet out, you just push this button and it'll come out. So that's cool. Last but not least is Jaden's Megazord. The Tiger Zord. Now, he's a cool Zord. Um. Um, just like these two, the mouth opens, so that's cool. It looks like you could push the head in, but I don't think you can. Cause I try. Um, there's the fire kanji. Um, pretty cool. Not a whole lot of detail, not a lot of posability like you could do with the, uh, um, what is it? Chicano Megazord. Second, you could like you fold another thing up, but this is closest kanji sword we could get. So yeah, so there's all five of them. This is as back as it could go, so there's no way I get them on view. So. Now we combine them. Take the bezoar, close his mouth, pull his head up until you get clipped in place, and you just fold in the feet. And there are peg holes all around. You just peg them in place. So there's a leg. Do the same thing with Mike. Um. Uh, Kevin's one, lift the head up until it snaps in place. And there's a little peg, it will tell you how to snap in place. Oh, I'll watch it here, it clips in place. Remove the sword, and I'll get to the sword later on. Then, pull the peg down or the button down to remove the helmet. And the helmet just clicks into place. Like so. Then just take it and collapse it down until it snaps in place. <coughs> Keep that there. Go to the arms. I'm going to do this. Fold this side in first, then this side. Open it up until it snaps in place. Flip the head in and rotate the fist around. So you got one arm. Ape is easy. You just clap the arms over its head. And it'll just snap in place. Last but not least. So yeah. Is Jaden's sword. Take his feet. Unclip it, and these tabs will go right into the holes. A nice good snap in place. Fold the feet in. 
on tab resin animal form lift it and click in place take the legs take it and just twist it and put it in cause I don't think you could no you can't put it in straight like this you have to twist it and put it in and the arms this, you have to do the same thing with them you have to put in a certain position there you go and they have to go in place come on oh, I, I got you there you go last but not least go and take your fingernails and lift up the head and this is my Meg's one now in the show they have done this without the helmet being on which is actually pretty cool how you got to do this without it. and for the helmet I'll talk about it here it is really nice you just gotta be careful this is a rubbery plastic so you just show you plop it on and lift up the helmet forming semi megazord now actually on tab bit so you can actually see it but it's supposed to stay down Focus on you. Okay, there we go. So this is the Megazord. It's one of the Megazords. Well, let me go through my backstory. I haven't collected Palmer and Me Palmer and toys in the last couple of maybe six, six to seven years. So let's go time me getting back into this. Here's a sword. Very nice detail. It could fit in either hand, but I think it's supposed to be fit into the pink ranger's hand because it's meant for that. You have to be careful because it does not fit all the way through this hand, but it does with the yellow hand, which I don't get. And you just take the sword, and it should you get it. Right, shift that way through, like that. So you can actually hold it. Too bad we don't have the shield. It'd be nice if we do. But just take it out, put it in his hand, and there we go. Not bad. Um, posability wise, in figure is very limited. It's just like all the Power Rangers and. Um, Sentai figures. The arms can move all around. Um, they're on ratchet joints, so that's cool. Uh, the fist could rotate all around, but that's just due to transformation and just for the sword. This is the only hand that can rotate. Nothing else can. So this figure is limited, but it's very cool. Do I recommend this figure? You know what? Go for it. If you're a big Power Rangers Super Sentai fan, and you don't want to get the Japanese counterpart, I say go for it. I love this figure, and see more coming on the way. So stay tuned. Please comment and subscribe if you like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.